hello everybody in this rhino video demo i would like to show how we can create 2d sectional views that are integrated into an overall 2d technical drawing okay let's start we will use the model on screen for our illustration purpose the first thing that i will need to do is to get the section tools plugin installed okay to do that at the command prompt type package manager and then at the search section type section tools and select section tools click on install as i've already done the installation i'm not going to do that again once the section tools plugin has been installed you might have to restart rhino again okay Okay, I reckon the first thing I need to do is to create the overall 2D drawing, which can easily be done so by going to dimension, make 2D drawing, and I'm going to create a third angle projection. Okay, notice that they are missing curves and I can easily fill it up by going to the necessary layer and then manually add a curve ourselves okay something like that maybe I don't need this perspective view okay the next thing that I want to do is to create the section views cutting plane and we can do so by going to the section tools create section dynamic okay and select object to section which is um, this and i want the section to be along the middle portion of the object the thing that you might want to set is the direction okay so in the direction there are a few options horizontal vertical and custom for my situation i want it to be along here so i'm going to use the vertical okay and then press enter and you might also want to determine which is the viewing angle which is indicated by the arrows on both sides of this line here okay and you might want also to turn on the object snap mid so that you can snap the section indicator to the middle portion of the object You're going to press the enter to establish the, the section and if you want to flip the viewing angle you can click the flip to change the direction but i'm not going to do that click press enter and you can see that a section has been created okay the next thing i need to do is to create the 2d projection of the section to do that go to section tools make 2d projection static and then select the section for projection which is this press enter and go through the options in this case i do not want the tangent lines i don't want the outlines and the hidden lines so i leave it as these values and press enter and you will see that a section corresponding to this has been created okay now let's um move this section view to this location over here and i will do that by going to the necessary layer which is this okay section zero zero make 2d and uh this one select object and this one select object okay select these two move this place it here okay and now let's do a bit of cleaning up work okay i'm going to remove this and this and we need to manually fill in the the hatch region which is here and here okay and the easiest way to do that is to use the curve boolean okay i'm going to demonstrate that now okay basically you go to here 
and select this curve boolean okay and then select the curves press enter and select the region that you want to boolean the first region is this let me just take out the business okay so can click on this and then uh press enter just to get this done first and let's repeat the process again Okay, select this region press enter okay so we we got this stuff over here and so we got this um this curve this curve and this these are the ones that we need so i reckon let's just move this to one side and we don't need this anymore i'm going to delete this The next thing we need to do is to create the hatch fields. To do that, you can type hatch at the command prompt or go to the drafting section and select the hatch. And select curves, uh, boundary. Okay, click yes. Okay, so we're going to select the curves. So this is the first set of curves that I want to do the hatching. Enter. Select the region is this enter and then select the necessary hatch type in this case here i want to use a hatch one rotation let's set this to 45 the scale let's set this to 10 and click ok so we got the first hatch as this is a separate piece we need to change the hatch direction so let's repeat the hatch command again select this other region to hatch press enter click on this enter now let's change the direction of the rotation give it a negative value minus 45 that's okay yep and then with that we have done the the section and we just need to fill in the the indicators and let's do it now so i'm going to draw the the section cut here the section aa so turning on the mid snap okay let's change this to a different line type Okay, and then let's put in the indicator arrow of the direction which is uh, this direction here so to do that go to dimension leader okay, I'm going to put the leader here type A it's going to be a section AA set this to let's say 5 click on more properties and set the arrow size to 5 as well Click OK. Yeah, we got this. And let's copy this. I'm going to press Alt key. Make a copy of this. Okay. And then over here, we need to put the, the view name, which is section AA. So I'm going to add the form there. Simply type text. Enter. And write section AA. Okay, and put it here okay so that is how uh, we can create a section view and indicate it appropriately with that i come to the end of this demo hope this has been useful see you bye